What is going on, everybody? Today, we're going to analyze the tape of the Baltimore Ravens offensive line and really analyze a very, very underrated unit around the NFL. Uh, it's led by, in my opinion, a top five center in Tyler Linderbaum. And we're going to analyze his tape. We'll look at some of the other guys as well on this offensive line, really get into it. They had a phenomenal game in this playoff game against the Houston Texans. Very, very fired up for it. Let's just jump right into the tape. One of the guys that I think deserves a lot of credit for the Baltimore Ravens is going to be left guard John Simpson. Simpson this season has played over 1,100 snaps, and he's only given up one sack, a couple of quarterback hits. Uh, but generally speaking, the guy's had a phenomenal season, and one of the ways he's able to have success is really due to that power that this guy has. Uh, one of the things that Simpson does a really good job at is really anchoring down. And this is a really nice rep to kind of get into that point and really talk about it. So one of the things that Simpson's done over the course of his career is he's been able to utilize his power and his length. And on this play here, it's a great job kind of showing that. You're going to see the defensive tackle on this one's going to try to bull rush Simpson. Simpson's going to lock in with the underneath technique where he's going to land both arms to the inside chest. And as his defensive tackle starts to bull rush Simpson, you're going to see him drop the anchor right there. And what that means is he's going to spread the legs out the way he does here. He's going to drop the hips. Both hands are underneath this defensive lineman. He's locked in with him. And that's the strongest point that an offensive lineman can ultimately be in. And on this one, as soon as he drops the anchor, you see this defensive tackle actually go backwards. So this is a great rep right here by Simpson. Strong, powerful, great technique, great base. And these are the type of players and plays that allow a offensive line to have success. When a guy's able to one-on-one -on -one block a, a defensive tackle, a bull rush, and really just shut it down. Keep an eye here on the center and watch him pull, get out in space, and take on the defensive end here and just do a phenomenal job with the block. Uh, this play here is going to end up picking up 10 yards on first and 10, uh, and just a really, really nice job by both the center and the left tackle. You'll see on this one, the backup left tackle here, Patrick McCarry, is also going to end up pulling. He's going to lead into the gap, uh, but just a great job here by the offensive lineman, starting with the center, the tackle pulls into the gap. And you're going to get 10 yards on this one. It's a really, really nice power run. Let's get into the next snap. Check this play out here. The Baltimore Ravens are going to run duo. Third and one. They're going to end up picking up six yards. I got to highlight the left guard and left tackle on this one. You're going to see Simpson here block out. The left tackle is going to get out in front of this defensive lineman. Simpson's going to reach up to number six. And the running back's going to end up hitting this right through that gap. And just like that, you're going to pick the first down up and end up getting six yards. Let's get into the next snap. Check this one out. You're going to get a second and 10, and the Baltimore Ravens are actually going to design a quarterback keeper, and this one's going to hit for a 15-yard touchdown. I love the play call, love the design, love how it's executed up front, and of course, the quarterback gets it done. That's a really nice job here. Uh, let's highlight some of these blocks. Uh, first and foremost, it's a quarterback keeper, so one of the important concepts within this play is every single guy needs to kind of be pushed upfield. They need to be moved in a way that they all kind of run upfield, and that way the quarterback can actually take off running and find one of these lanes. Now, an interesting thing within this play is if you guys look at the left guard, left tackle, and the two defensive ends here, they're going to actually run a game. So the left guard and left tackle have to swap on that game and they have to be able to pick it up and make sure the quarterback ends up being kept clean. So the left guard does a good job here taking the defensive tackle, initially passing him off to the left tackle, coming back around, picking up the defensive end who almost gets to the quarterback, but Simpson does a great job holding on and making sure to pancake the defensive end and fall on top of him as opposed to holding him and maybe getting flagged. Uh, at the same time, if you guys watch the center, the center does a beautiful job with the power. And this is how you move someone out of there. All right, this right here by the center is a really, really nice job. That block right there is how you move someone out of the gap. Uh, that's going to obviously allow your quarterback to get through there. The running back does a really nice job, as you guys can see as well. Uh, Edwards runs right to the, the inside line back number 53. He picks him off. He turns him, which is exactly how you want to block downfield. And the quarterback, just like that. Takes it 15 yards, and you get another touchdown. That's a really, really nice job right there. Keep an eye on the right tackle here. It's a very, very difficult block by Morgan Moses. Uh, he's going to get out there. He's going to make a really, really nice block, uh, and he flips the hips. Now, his block doesn't actually technically lead to the Ravens getting any extra yards, uh, but never underestimate the backside reach blocks. You know, when Moses makes this block, and keep in mind it's the wide zone to the right, there's a chance that the running back hits this 
on some sort of cutback. And Moses' block is key here on this backside run. So it's a great job right there for him to get there. Uh, you'll also see the left guard and center do a great job reaching on the wide three technique here. Left guard's going to push him into the center. The center's going to overtake that. That's a really, really nice shot by those two guys. I mean, that's a very difficult thing to do. But again, Tyler Linderbaum's one of the best centers in the NFL is because of things like this. Uh, and Simpson obviously was a great pickup for the Ravens as well. I think he's developed pretty nicely. He can continue to develop if he ends up being a long-term starter for the Ravens. But the guys up front have been getting it done and, you know, they work well together. And you're able to run the different schemes, right? Wide zone, inside, outside. Uh, you're able to run power runs. You're able to do so many different things that I think the Baltimore Ravens are so underrated because they're able to do those type of things. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens will come at you with every single run scheme that's possibly out there. Not every team does that, and they do it well, right? These offense linemen are obviously coached very, very well, and you see it on tape. You got a fourth and one, and you're going to pick up 14 yards on this play right here. This is beautifully designed. Got to give a lot of credit to the offense coordinator, a lot of credit to the play caller and play designer, run game coordinator. I want you guys to watch this play. I want you guys to watch the left tackle and look at what the left tackle does on this play initially. Uh, he's going to pretend like he's backside blocking a power run. When John Simpson pulls, he's showing all of these guys on the defensive side that the run is to the right. And the left tackle job is going to be to set himself up here and make sure these two guys cannot shoot the gap. So when the left tackle here lines up where he's defending the backside, the D tackle, DN, just think it's some sort of inside run towards the right, some power run towards that side. But instead, it's a quarterback keeper. And one of the best left tackles in Ronnie Stanley actually is going to pull and get out in front for Lamar Jackson, lead, lead block. Uh, and he's going to put down that safety. To me, this is a really, really nicely executed play. Check this zone run out to the right and watch the patience by running back Justice Hill. You know, when a quarterback designs these plays, this is exactly how you design it. This is literally the exact way you show uh, when you're going to watch teach tape or whatever it is for a young player. This is exactly how it's read. Uh, so this is a zone run to the right. Notice how the fullback's going to basically get held at the point of attack. The defensive end's going to take the outside. So Hill's not going to be able to hit this to the outside. So on zone runs, when the outside's not available... You bend it back and you look for one of these other lanes to possibly develop. And that's the point of a zone run. And it's part of why it's so hard to stop. And Hill here is going to push the outside. He's going to jump cut back to the inside. And the guys up front do a great job. I mean, look at the seal off by the right guard on this one. To me, this is a beautiful, beautiful job by the right guard. As he's going to get out here on the three technique, you see him do a really nice job making contact. And then look at him just fight. The defensive lineman here and just kind of flip the hips as he's rotating to the right i mean that's beautiful right there and this one here picked up 10 yards that's just a really really nice job so you're going to pick up 14 yards right here on this run by justice hill uh, the offensive line do a phenomenal job uh, you guys see it just kind of develop but i want to point it out a little bit and give credit to some of these guys up front uh, you guys are going to see the offensive linemen all basically reach uh, you're going to see the left tackle is the first guy that's going to reach. So he has a reach on this defensive lineman here. You'll see the left tackle is going to get it out in front of him. Uh, as soon as that happens, that releases the left guard to climb up to the linebacker and get in front of him. And you'll see Simpson also is going to be able to get there. So you see the reach by Simpson. At the same time, you guys watch the center. Uh, the center is going to get out in front of the two-eye technique defensive tackle. And when that happens, that's going to release the right guard to also climb and reach. The right tackle is going to take his defensive lineman or linebacker and just push him wherever he wants to go. And you just see those reach blocks work perfectly to the right in 15 yards, just like that. It's a really, really nice shot by this offensive line unit. All right, you guys, I want to go ahead and wrap this video up. But as we wrap this video up, I do want to just point something out that I think does get overlooked sometimes with certain offensive lines around the NFL. So at the moment, the Ravens have two guys up here. They have two guys down here. And they have one running back in the backfield. So what that means is you're going to have a five-man protection. You're going to have five offensive linemen. And they're going to have to figure out how to block this up front. And I point this out because not every single offensive line can actually utilize a five-man protection. Uh, where the running back's going to release. And you'll see that if you keep an eye on 43 here. 43 releases without any help. right? He's not going to chip on anyone. He's not going to be involved in the pass protection. Now, obviously... 
the Texans do bring one extra guy, so they do technically blitz, so the quarterback does throw it hot. But I point this out because as you guys watch the Ravens and as you guys watch this next game against the Chiefs, keep this in mind. Keep in mind how special of a unit you have to be to be able to go with five offensive linemen and feel that you'll be able to keep your quarterback clean. Because so many teams have to line up a tight end here uh, to help their tackle, right? They'll chip on this guy. Sometimes you'll get these guys to release routes where they're going to influence the defensive ends. Rather, they're going to chip them or whatever it may be. But the Ravens don't have to do that. And a big part of that is because these tackles do such a great job anchoring down they do such a good job getting out there and really keeping the quarterback clean off of the edge, which allows the left guard center and right guard to do their thing on the inside. This offensive line unit is special. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing. We will be covering the Ravens as we go forward. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with another video.